I'm gonna try to get to catch this on two angles. That camera and this camera. We'll see how it comes out. Alright, today we're gonna to install the Road Warrior fairing on Donna's 2021 soft tail standard. First thing I'm gonna do is put these brackets on the fairing, get that part out of the way. So these are 7 16th nuts. Take them off. Excuse me, 7 16th inch bolts. There's also a rubber grommet there. When you install these inside of the fairing, you want to make sure this is at the top. So this is going to be the one on the left side. But before we do that, we've got to put the grommets in place. I'll probably just do all four. Begin with. Okay, so got the grommets installed on the fairing. Next, I'm going to put the brackets in. You see that? All right. That's going to go on the left side. This one's going on the right side. If you look here, I don't know how good you can see it. These will seat only one way in this bracket. There it is. That's where it seats in on the bracket there. Okay, got that. Now we're going to put the bolts back on. Okay, got the brackets on there. Just going to give them all a little turn. Not too tight. Of course, fairings made of plastic. Clamp down on them. I crack it. Can't have that. But I want them tight enough to stay put. Should I use a socket for this? Better off using a socket than doing what I'm doing with this box wrench. Right. There we go. Ready to roll. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is move the headlight. We're gonna have to move the headlight forward on that bike. Due to the fact if not. Your headlight's going to be recessed in here and it just won't look as good. So the headlight block which we're going to install is going to bring the headlight pretty much flush with the front of the fairing. So let's go to the garage. Before we move the headlight we're going to check the beam against the wall here in the garage to make sure it's going to be at the same location after we move the headlight. Because you know we're going to have a little adjustment this way or that we want it straight. Well, Don's going to sit on the bike now, shine a headlight on the wall, I'm going to mark where it is. Look about right? Perfect. Okay, next thing we're going to do is install the headlight block so we can bring the headlight out forward so it sits right when we have the fairing installed. Alright, we've got a 9 16 inch socket on a ratchet. 916 box in wrench. Put that on the nut. Put this on the bolt. And loosen the headlight. Put your gate bolt loosen. Take it out. On the washers. And I like to put everything back together. Lose it because I have a tendency to lose stuff when it's right in, underneath me. Okay, set that one aside. Now I'm going to take a quarter inch hex head, Allen head, and we're going to remove the headlight. There's the original headlight bracket, or block, or mount, whatever you want to call it. And there it is. We're going to replace this piece with this one here that you have to buy separately from Memphis Shapes. The headlight block. There's two different positions you could put it in. You can bring it back a little bit, 
or you can bring it forward a little bit. I'm just guessing right now. I'm thinking we're going to need the more extended version of this, so that's where I'm going to put this block. If we have to go back and adjust it, we can. So, you notice also with this, this is the long block, by the way. They sell a short block and a long block. I bought the long one because I heard it was the one recommended to use with this particular bike and fairing. Uh, it comes with some spacers. When we mount the, remount the headlight, you're going to need these spaces on either side of this in order to make it seat proper. So basically we're just putting this block back to replace the stock one with the extended one. I'm going to take this off the ratchet. I always find doing it like this is easier. Washer, spacer, spacer, washer. This washer. And the nut. 916 lock nut. Now we're gonna get our 916 socket. Very close. Alright, so I had a loose stuff. Look at this. I'm looking all over the floor there for my socket. And it was rolled down the garage floor. I'm gonna snug this up a little bit before we adjust it. So now we're gonna put the clips on, put the fairing on. So these, I believe, are 49 millimeter fork tubes. So we're gonna use the third one in. One, two, three. Boom, clip that on there like that. The cool thing about Memphis Shades uh, mount kit, it comes with an Allen key. You get that bolt out. How easy is that, right? I'm sticking in my pocket because, like I said, I lose stuff. I just lost a socket a minute ago. And when you want to put these out, you want to make sure this this steel is sticking up. Then angle it down like that. If you do it the other way, it can damage your tank. So, same thing again. I'm gonna clamp this on there. Just hit the third one. And there we go. Okay, now we got all four clamps installed on the fork tubes. We're gonna get the fairing, and then we're gonna match it up to see how it fits. Of course, I didn't tighten these down all the way, just a little bit to snug them up, and then I'll adjust them when we got the fairing. Almost time to put it on the bike. Huzzah! Now we got all four of the clamps on the fork tubes. We're gonna check out their trigger lock mounting system to hook this onto the bike. These clamps on there just snug, so we can, cause there's gonna be some fiddling and adjusting to get this on there right. So we'll see how it works out for my guesswork. To do these trigger lock mounts, this is how you open it. I'll close one so you can see. Push forward, bring it up. <clears throat> it's close. It is close, but not quite because Hold on. Needs to All right, well, we had to do quite a bit of adjusting and figuring to get this thing lined up just right. We'll put the clamps on. What we thought was correct it was not. They were a little bit too low. So it is, we measured, it's two inches from the top clamp to the bottom clamp. Then once we put the um, headlight, I had already adjusted the headlight first and, and you shouldn't do that. What you have to do is keep the headlight loose and then just snug so you can move it around. Now we got everything in place, tighten up these clamps.
Now, in the beginning, I, I put these brackets on to the fairing, and I shouldn't have tightened them either, because we had them adjusted all together. So now I'm going to take it off and tighten the bolts where they belong. If everything goes right, it'll pop right off. Push them forward, you lift these up, pop it right off. Bada bing! Now that we know these bolts are in the right position, we're gonna tighten them down with a 716 socket on a ratchet. Just snug. Just the headlight. Now we got a perfect view of where it was before. So between my markers, two pieces of masking tape. Seemed like it worked pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is pop the windshield on. We're good to go. All right. Got the windshield here. This is the light smoke windshield, 11 inches. I did the shapes. I tried to get down a clear one because I just thought a clear one would be better to have, but they don't make them anymore. That used to be called the ghost. So now all they have is the light smoke and the dark, dark smoke perhaps. I think that's it. This is the vented fair. Once again, I couldn't find a non vented fair, so we're going to go with this. I heard some people say the vented fairing's better. So, put this on, it's way simple. Put it there. So, yeah, you hold it, baby. Okay, the screws for the windshield are supplied. The plastic. The outside here, screw head. Don't use a screwdriver on it. If you use a screwdriver on this, you may tweak it down too tight. And what will have, happen then is the windshield will crack. You don't want that. Matter of fact, even the little bag it comes in says, no screwdriver, so don't. Well, okay, Memphis Shades Rogue Warrior fairing has been installed on Donna Softail. I think it come out real nice. It wasn't very difficult to do. The only thing is, you gotta remember, when you're adjusting it, it takes a little time to get the exact location for the clamps and the trigger lock mechanism but once you sort that out tighten it all down adjust your headlight again good to go so shut up and sit down, and sit down.